Well, greetings again, and uh, we're going to talk some more about headgears, and this is a, you can use a J-hook type headgear from the cervical or from the occipital, which, whichever you want, and you can use both of them at the same time on this, in this young man that I'm going to show you here, was such a nice young man. And there were several young ladies that kind of, that I was straightening their teeth. And uh, let me see if I can get this uh, number up here. And they were twisting this young man's arm to get him in there to, to do the orthodontics. And so we started him. And he had a, real problem that I want to show it. This was 1971 and he came in from these young ladies more or less twisted his arm to come in and get his teeth fixed. And this is a, a loaded, <laughs> this is what we would call a, a cervical headgear coming over here and then this is an occipital Top head gear here. So this one is bringing it back, and this one is bringing the upper teeth up like that. And you'd have to look at the guy's face here to uh, see how we do that. Uh, we were hooking these into the braces you see here, like that. And so you can pull the teeth. And the head gears are nothing in the world except a way of putting pressure on teeth to move them in certain directions. And so headgears will work a hundred years from now. It's if people just don't want to wear them a lot, but you can do things with headgears that maybe is very difficult to do otherwise. Now this was back over 50 years ago. You know, we've got this young man and he, these girls twisted his arm and brought him in. And so we decided to straighten his teeth. And we took out some teeth in the front and in the, on the upper and lower and brought the teeth back and carried them. And here we finished the case up. And it, it, it made a tremendous difference in the appearance of this young man and had a big difference in his life. And this is 1973 and here's, this was 19, uh, that looks like 1996 after he grew up and here he is in 73 after we finish and there he is in 93. 96. So that's from 70 to 80 to 90. And so it's about 23 years difference in this. And you see what he looks like after we got through with him. And you can use headgear. I think he lost a tooth somewhere down the line back in 96. But here's the way he looked when he first came in like that and so he was a real nice young man and the girls really liked him and they wanted him to get his teeth straightened and they brought him in and so we straightened the teeth up and this is the way he actually looked and here he does years later that's the way he looked the only thing that the young ladies didn't take into consideration. They got him look so good that he moved on to some better looking young women that he was going with. And I think, and here he is in 90, a very nice looking young man. And so changing people's lives with the way their teeth and their jaws and their face looks makes a big difference 
in the way their life is lived. So he married somebody and he was looking a lot better just a short time. This is 1973 and we started I think in 71 on him. And here he is years later. His eyes are closer but there he is open and he's much 71, 73 and this is to th this is to 20 some years later and this is the man. This is what orthodontics does for people and this is why I have took a love for orthodontics to be able to do these things for people and so I hope you get this orthodontic bug and I hope that the people in our organization does. There's a world of stuff that's adults that have their real problems and they can be corrected too. And so this is what we want to try to train people everywhere in the world how to do these things for people. Thank you for watching now and you can see the difference you make in a person's life by changing the way their facial structure is and the way they look. And this makes a big difference in a person. You just don't see the person that looks bad like. And then this is the way he looks in 1990. So thanks for watching and I'm going to sign out and this is using headgear 50 years ago and this is what you can use even today. We would use some in some cases. Now I want to say goodbye and uh,